we're here at Metalite in Swindon and behind us we've got a quasar attached to an Aurora system. So why have they gone for this system? It's really fascinating to see the different types of automation that you can now um, buy from machinery and equipment suppliers here in the UK. And it's also really interesting to see some of the, the differences between them and why companies opt for them. Now with this particular Quasar and Euroa solution, the reason they went for it was because they felt that it offered them more flexibility and future-proofed their business and their investment in machinery. And the reason they thought that is because these two systems, albeit they're very solid in their communication, they are separate pieces of hardware and they can be or the, the automation can be moved to somewhere else in the factory if need be. So why have they gone for the option where obviously Quasar is the machine tool and a rower is the pallet system? Why didn't they go for a Quasar with a pallet system? Why have they gone for the interchangeable? Because that means obviously, I know a system can be moved, but obviously does that mean that they can adapt and increase? They can, well they can, They can. Um, your first point actually about the Quasar machine, they're already a Quasar user, they've got a UX600 five axis machine, so they're already into their five axis machining. What they do here is um, some quite uh, heavy duty milling and they're working within the medical sector amongst others but some of the parts and some of the metal removal that they, they command from their machines is quite significant and they've noticed that with their original Quasar machine it was hitting tolerance, um, it, was, it was removing lots of metal quickly with a high speed spindle, they were very reliable but they were able to um, hit tolerance repeatedly time after time so that was the machine. But the second thing you mentioned, yeah, about the pallet system is the fact that this, this here, this pallet system here, could be moved to somewhere else in the factory and they could opt for one that's got more pallets or bigger pallets, so it's that flexibility. I was going to say, so obviously if I was Metalite and I was the customer, this has got 10 pallets on it originally. Um, they bought this, this is theirs, attached to the Quasar. If I wanted to move that onto a three-axis VMC, it's obviously mine, so I can integrate it with a different machine, but what what size can these rowers go up to? Increasable, are they? I mean, much, much bigger on pallet size. They've just ordered another pallet system to go onto one of their VMCs, which is going to handle some of the almost like bolsters that they do, which are up to, I think they're almost up to a metre in size. Wow. So some quite big pallet systems. Not just that, the stacking. So you imagine, you see some automated solutions where you have a series of stacked pallets you can have that with your rower as well. So they might get um, a, a new job here, which is a very small part, which is still ideal for the Quasar machine, but actually this, this pallet system doesn't do it justice. So why not just move this one out and opt for one that's got more pallets? Yeah, 100%. And I've seen inside, they're not just doing one part on each pallet. They've got, I've seen they've got a little part, which is probably, I don't know, 80 by 150 mil. And then they've got another part in there, probably about 600 mil by 400 mil. So, how is a rower good with integrating different pallets and different sizes of materials? Because obviously they're not just making small intricate parts, like you said, mm. they're doing bigger parts and different materials. You, you have two aspects. You have the flexibility of the pallet system, which is what we're talking about. And here, um, with a zero point, easy to load. This crane goes in, picks the pallets out. You can put another one in so you're not manually handling the pallets. And I've seen pallets. them use this and it's, it's really easy. Yeah, it's so, to so use easy. It's so shopping to take it, it, out yeah, the car. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it definitely. It's so easy to use. So you've got the flexibility to do smaller parts on pallets and vices as well as the larger parts. So the flexibility is there in the Euro system. But with a Quasar machine, you've got the flexibility in the, the spindle speed, the spindle power, um, the ability to uh, machine you know, dynamically using like the, the hypermill software that, that they use with it, it means they can get, they can use those uh, strategic machining cycles that can give them best metal removal. So they've got that sort of flexibility in the machine and the pallet system to alter what they're doing on a daily basis. So obviously they're two different companies, aren't they? How well do Quasar get on with the rower? Obviously they've got to have a really strong partnership, haven't they, to make this connection work and make it work really well. Yeah. The communication between these two is seamless. The engineering technology group here in the UK, um, this is their solution. So if there's an issue, it goes directly back to them. They've integrated all this themselves. What I, what I like is that that control system that you see there talks to both. What you don't have is one here, one there, trying to get that to talk to this. You've got one control system that takes care of everything. Because if that does happen, you've got two completely different setups, haven't you? Someone's got to be trained on the Aurora system, someone's got to be trained on the Quasar, and for them to mesh together... And one could blame the other if there's a problem. <laughs> and 
that, and it's, that, that does that's happen. That's true, yeah, definitely. Ring up one service department and they'll say, actually, that's their problem. The other and service department. You don't department, want to be, you really don't want to be caught in the middle. And that's great for ETG to be able to talk to Aroa, talk to Quasar. And I think for Metalite, this is a fantastic solution for that increase in capability.